Alright guys, how's it going? So this is continuing on with the modelling series tutorials and today I'm going to look at the spin tool. So in traditional fashion we'll delete the cube, I'll press shift and A and I'll add in a plane. And what I'll do here is I'll quickly rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis and I'll tab into edit mode. And I'll press 3 to select the face. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come to the spin tool on the left hand side and if we hold in the mouse button you can see that we have two options, spin and spin duplicates. So we'll use spin for the moment. Now we can use the gizmo but personally I'm not a fan of it. I much prefer using the dialog box on the left hand side here and what I'll do is I'll make the angle 360 degrees and I'll change the x axis to 5 meters. And this is a good example of the spin tool. And because we have auto merge enabled, it actually welds the points here for us. Now we can drop the steps down to something like 3, and that makes this lovely triangle, which would be kinda difficult to model, especially that accurate. Now obviously the higher the sub steps you go up, the more rounded the object becomes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the steps down to 4, I'll drop the tool, I'll press 2 to select edges, I'll press ALT and I'll do a quick loop select here, I'll press SHIFT and I'll do a loop select here, and I'll just quickly use the bevel tool. And we get this really nice picture frame in under 4 clicks. So let me quickly undo this and I'll show you the difference between spin duplicates. Now you don't necessarily need to use the spin duplicates here. And I'll show you why in a second, but we can use the gizmo this time. I'll pretty much repeat the exact same process 360 degrees, I'll put the steps up to something like 9, and I'll make it 5 on the X. And you can see what it's done, it's just duplicated the face, it's not connected, and if we actually untick this, you can see the difference. So this is a great way if you're maybe wanting to do something like a fan. And keep in mind, you can always rotate this on the X and Y and Z axis here, so we can do angles like this. And that's pretty much the basics of the spin tool. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter because I've got no mates, you know what to do. Peace.